I'm sure most of you already know that the gunsmith hooks you up with some really good guns once you reach rank 2 and rank 3 where he will give you a class specific exotic. But if you do not know, every Wednesday the gunsmith is going to bring new field test weapons for that week. And a lot of these weapons have really easy tasks and it's not going to take you longer than probably about half an hour to 40 minutes to knock all the guns out for that particular week. And each class is its own specific reward for rank 2 level up and rank 3 level up from the gunsmith. To get the guns once you get to rank 2 and rank 3, Banshee's just going to send you out. He's going to say get kills to gather data with a primary elementary, secondary elementary, whatever gun you're going after. It will tell you what to pick up. You just pop it and you have to get a certain amount of kills within that 30 minute window that the telemetry is active. Really easy, really straightforward and you really get hooked up with some really good guns. For the Hunter, rank two is still Piercer, which is a good sniper rifle, and I will show you that in this video. The rank three exotic reward, which is basically what this video is about, is the Ace of Spades, an exotic hand cannon for the Hunter. And again, it is class specific, so those two guns you can only use on your Hunter. Whereas the Titan, you get the Amobus shotgun, at rank 2, at rank 3 you get the Fabian Strategy which is an exotic auto rifle, Warlocks at rank 2 you get Susanu which is a fusion rifle, and at rank 3 the Talalak, I don't know, I call it the Tough Actin Tenactin. It is a exotic scout rifle. Once you complete the telemetry phase of Back in the Saddle which is technically this quest line for rank 2 and rank 3, once you turn that in, Banshee's going to ask you to dismantle either Legendary or rare weapons coinciding to what gun you're getting. Hand cannon, pulse rifle, scout rifle, auto rifle, blah, blah, blah. And all you gotta do is dismantle the guns and get 10 weapon parts. Then go back to Banshee and you will get your reward. You see here, I'm getting the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades is an awesome gun. I'm going to compare it to Fatebringer here. It is not as good as Fatebringer, but they are basically pretty much identical in stats. Rate of fire, impact, range, stability, reload, magazine. You see the radar stays active on the Ace of Spades, which is always an awesome perk to have. And then precision kills move one round from your ammo reserves into the magazine, just like the Black Spindle. And when they ruined Black Hammer, that perk. On Feybringer, obviously you had Outlaw and Firefly, which, you know, and Field Scout, you could have 13 in a mag. Oh, you could carry like 120 rounds. Okay, let's get away from Feybringer. I miss it so much. I'm sure most of you probably do as well. The Ace of Spades also has Firefly though, and it has perfect balance if you want to have more stability, and it also has Reinforced Barrel, which adds range. And I will show you that in action and I did not really notice that much difference with the additive range. I personally, when I'm going to be rocking Ace of Spades, am going to have the stability perk active, but it's pretty much pick your poison. Here is Still Piercer. This is the rank two reward for Hunters. I have not done my Warlock yet, and I do not have a Titan, but I am very tempted to make a Titan because you're getting specific guns on the Titan, and let's be real, the freaking Thor hammer is awesome. It looks awesome, it sounds awesome, and I'm sure it's fun as hell. For Still Piercer though, it's a good sniper for not having to waste marks and just having to get to rank two with the Gunsmith, and with how much you use your sniper in the raid, I would highly suggest Hunters, you go and get to rank 2 so you can get the Steel Piercer. It's a solid sniper rifle, again, for not having to waste any of your legendary mark. So here's some gameplay of the fully leveled up, and you can see the Maverick perk in action here. I get a precision kill, and my round from the 50, it was at 52, went to 51, and it put the mag, you see here, it's just putting the mag back in my clips, so I'm never going to have to reload if I just am continuously getting precision kills. Now, you're not going to continuously get precision kills, but, you know, just running around here, you're going to get a lot of precision kills, and you're basically never going to have to reload. So if you're at six, you're at five, you're at one shot, if you are getting precision kills, it is going to take it from your reserve, which is the Maverick perk on the Ace of Spades. It also has the last word, you know, cowboy twirl when you switch to it. I didn't have that in this video. I think I might have deleted the areas where I was switching weapons when I was editing. I don't know why, because I'm a nub. These next clips I'm going to show you 
firing a shot without the range perk and firing a shot with a stability perk. So I have the stability perk on right now. And I mean, that's pretty deep. More likely or not, you're not going to be shooting enemies from that far away. So now we can put on the reinforced barrel, which is going to add some range. And again, of course, you're going to hit the enemy from this range because you did without it on. I, you know, personally, when I'm rocking this, I'm going to be stability because you're trying to get precision kills, precision headshots. Though without the stability on, it's really not that bad. So I don't know. It's just kind of pick whatever you want. I don't think it really is going to add much difference. And then I did a super long test, so I just registered a shot there, 91 damage, and that was with the range perk on. Now I'm going to switch it back so you have perfect balance on, and you will see, I know you, it's probably hard to see on your screen because these guys are really far away, 91. I still registered a hit there on that invisible vandal walking around. So you see there, I still shot that full from super deep, even without the range on. I don't think it makes much difference. Either way, whatever you want to do. I mean, I'm registering shots from really far away. You're never going to be shooting guys like this in the raid, in a mission. You're going to be way closer. I really don't think the stability or range is going to matter. That's why I'm going to always go with stability. That's the end of the video, guys. This is just a little clip of Steel Piercer in action in the raid. I hope it was helpful. So each Wednesday, new field test orders are going to come in. I'm sure a lot of you guys don't play this game every day or you don't have enough time. You only play once a week. Gunsmith stuff is really quick and easy, and you get some really good and solid guns for not having to do a whole lot. You don't have to go and do the nightfall and hope to get a good reward or do the raid or anything like that. You get some solid guns from just doing a quick half hour task every Wednesday, you know, half hour to an hour. And there are some also awesome guns that you can buy from the different factions, and I'm going to post a video on that tomorrow. Have a good day, guys. See ya.